What's up YouTube, Terry here from Full Time Design and I'm going to show you how to do dual camera editing in Adobe Premiere CS3. Let's begin. You can see I have two of my camera angles. I got me and Dan. Mine is the wide shot. So when you go through you can see that. Dan's is the close shot. So what we're going to do is sync them up and switch back and forth. So to sync them up, the easiest way to do it is to use the audio. And you can see that it's already in sync because I already did it. So you just look your audio and line up the beats. So you can see that they're lined up. And to switch the switch angles, it's uh, very easy. I'll show you now. So we'll get to a good spot. I'd say right here. Click on your top one, top video, effects control. Click on opacity and opacity again. Set your keyframe. Play it for a, a second or two, and then bring your opacity down to zero. And what that does is gives it a nice fade. However, that fade is too long, so you can shorten them up if you want. Just use the keyframe right here. So I'll bring that one over. Still a bit long. I'll bring this one here and this one here. And that works better. And when you get to the end, do it again. Except for you're going to bring the opacity up to 100. And that's it. So we'll do it again on another spot. Right here. So click on your keyframe. Let it play. And bring it to zero. And then you can play it back. And then we'll go back to the other angle. Bring your opacity to 100. And let it play. And that's it. That's the basics of doing dual angle editing. There's other ways to do it. This is just one way, one way that I do it. And you can see it again. It's very easy, just using keyframes. The only hard part is about doing it is making sure your audio and video are in sync. If not, when you switch angles, there'll be, you know, two different spots, and that looks bad. So yeah, that's the basic basics of dual camera editing. Thanks for watching.